Hello, Gold here, and today we're going to look at how to use the set instruction to turn a digital output on and leave it on. The first thing I'll have to do is go into my program editor and select a program. So I'm going to put this in our routine one that we wrote in the other video. So I'm going to go into my routines, routine one, and now here it is. So in routine one, I'm going to insert a set instruction in between these two move J's here. Now when I'm using logic, when I'm inserting logic into my code, I don't have to worry about modifying a position or I don't have to worry about the robot's position, its current position in space, because it does not record the positional data for a logic, you know, a logic instruction. So I'm going to move my cursor or tap the screen here to put my cursor onto the line. I want to put the instruction below. I'm going to use my add instruction button and I'm going to use the set instruction. It's on the common menu, but you can also find this on your IO menu too. Here's set, here's set digital output. Set will give the option to set different types of outputs. Set DO will set your digital outputs only and we will use that later. I'm going to choose set here and I'm going to set digital output one, signal DO one. Since this set function only sets the signal high, I don't have to specify set signal DO to one or set signal DO one equal one or anything like that. Very short, very easy. This is now in my code. Once my robot reaches this line of code, then it will turn input one on and it will continue to execute the rest of the code. So very short video. The set is used to turn an output on. It is not used to turn it off. If I need to turn this output off, then I'm going to have to reset this output. There are other ways that we can turn it on or off, all of which we will explore in future videos. But to turn this output off, then I'm going to have to use another instruction. So this will keep this output high basically permanently until some other line of code or I manually go into my inputs and outputs and turn that signal off. So this will not, this will not let that signal go back low. Once I set it high, it stays high. So it's my job to reset it somewhere in this program. So I'm going to reset it after the robot reaches the home position. To turn this output off is very simple instruction. I use add instruction and I use my reset instruction. Reset. And since this is a basic, simple switching function, notice how when I hit reset, it put it right into my line of code, resetting the same exact output that I set high with the set instruction. So a pretty handy feature, it just includes it for me. Should I need to change this signal? All I have to do is double tap the signal and it will take me to my argument screen. On my argument screen, I would select the signal that I do want to reset or send low. Reset will always send it back low so or to zero. I hit OK and now that I can see the robot will execute this move J, then it will set output one high. It will execute the next joint move make an absolute joint move to the home position, then reset that same output that we sent high here. Well, I hope that helps with the set and reset logic instructions. We're going to cover all of these logic instructions in the logic series. Make sure to like and subscribe the video and share the videos. The more subscribers and viewers we get, then the more videos I'll be able to make. I'm working towards creating an entire library of videos that cover every aspect of the teach pendant all of the functionalities, all of the different options that we see, all of the different instructions and menus we see. I'd like to cover these one by one and break them down into very simple videos so that people can access what they need when they need it instead of having to watch an hour long video. So like, subscribe and share if you can. The more of those we get, then the more videos I'll be able to put out. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope the information helps. And for now, Gold out.